Hey everybody, good morning. Tia Silvesti here. I'm the Florida Friendly Landscaping Agent with University of Florida IFAS Extension in Orange County. Today I'm showing you the wildflower meadow that we have at our Extension Center. So we have a grant from the Florida Wildflower Foundation to do some enhancement, to add some new plants and expand our native wildflower garden here. And I just wanted to show you some of the progress in action. Um, if you're just getting started out, you should get this resource, 20 easy to grow wildflowers for Florida. And you know, just get started planting the plants. Right now we're coming up to October 1st. It's a great time to start your wildflower garden, plant native plants in your yard. And the benefit of the native plants as opposed to normal landscape plants is they really attract some special biodiversity to your landscape. So birds, butterflies, bees, hummingbirds, and the native plants are what really is gonna bring these awesome creatures to your garden. So with urbanization, we're losing all this native habitat and we want to try to get it back. So let me just show you some of the plants that we're adding to the garden today. This one here is a blue curls and this is a especially good one for the bees. So it has pretty little purple flowers and the bees just love it. This can be a perennial, it self seeds and it's a great one to add to your garden. I mean, heaven forbid if you just have purple flowers growing all over the place. And the way to do this at your home garden is just to pick a little corner of your yard and make it specific a native wildflower garden. So let's see what else we have. So right here I have two different species of ironweed or vernonia. Um, this one here is the giant ironweed and you can tell this one because it has large leaves, whereas this one here is the um, Vernonia angustifolia, the narrow leaf ironweed, and this has more narrow leaves. So the same genus, two different species, and we're gonna be adding these to our garden to get some of this purple fall color. And this is great for butterflies and bees, they love it. And this will um, reseed or be a short-lived perennial in your garden. Another one we have here is the native milkweed. So this is Asclepius incarnata, otherwise known as the swamp milkweed. And this is currently seeding. The mature plants in our garden are seeding and it will go dormant in the winter time and then it will come back again in the spring. So we're just adding more of these. Um, hopefully you know the butterfly that is loving the milkweed is the monarch butterfly. So if you want monarchs in your garden, plant native milkweeds like this swamp milkweed. We found this one is the most well suited for kind of urban habitats. If you have standard, you know, soil and irrigation, then plant the swamp milkweed. It has beautiful um, pink flowers. It grows real tall, you know, about as tall as me, four or five feet tall, and it will come back every year. It is a solid perennial native plant you can add for your garden. For what butterfly? Monarchs, monarch butterflies and milkweeds, monarch for milkweeds. And there are like maybe five or 10 different other species of milkweed, native milkweeds you can plant, but this Asclepius incarnata, the swamp milkweed, we found this does the best in our garden. So uh, let me show you one more plant here. This plant is a liatris. And um, behind me in the garden, you can see the liatris, the purple spikes are blooming up and they are beautiful. They're at their peak of their fall color right now. So um, come and visit us at the Extension Center. You can walk back here to the wildflower garden and check it out. Um, this one is the liatris spicata. So with our grant from the Florida Wildflower Foundation, we bought these plants from the Green Isle gardens over in Groveland. It's a native plant nursery and we're going to be putting this in the garden today. So something you need to do to maintain your native plants is when they go to seed like this one is almost has mature seeds. So you want to kind of pick these off and scatter them around your garden. 
that way they'll reseed for next year so it is a perennial it will come back but it never hurts to just scatter some seeds all of the native plants we have here you know we'll just go around and scatter the seeds around to help ensure that they will grow and native plants like to seed on bare soil so leave some open patches of sand for the plants to seed on and the open patches of sand also help with some um, habitat for the native bees and stuff that actually burrow in the ground so this um, liatris it's it's about um, five feet tall we're probably going to cut it you know right down here at the base that way it doesn't um, flop over after we plant it because it's just in a one gallon plant but this will be making some beautiful color for us next year so thanks for joining us and keep posted more about native plants and wildflowers for your garden